was the night before Christmas and all through the house. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a bear. Because Father Christmas killed him and wore him like an outfit. I've lost this, I'm sorry. Good morning or evening, friends. It is I, ah, ho, 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 Mr. JP with Wise Guys Gaming. Wise Guys Gaming. And I, of course, am here to talk to you with some Street Fighter action. Oh, yes, it's been a while. Yes, I'm back on that geef. And I am not in the best position. And by that, I mean, sincerely, not that I am a great geef, geef player, geef, geef player. But I am in very good position by playing uh, at a low rank. I fell down a lot. I'm working my way back up. And I decided to learn Geef Honest. And by that I mean instead of trying to put myself back up to silver or something like that and then try to learn Geef. Let's just try to learn Geef where we are right here right now. How about that? How about we learn Geef right here right now? So... Right now, I am a not a good player, not a good geef player in specific, but I am probably going to be better than most people at the rank at which I'm playing, your bronze players and that type of stuff. What you're gonna see here, like me winning that first round I won and what I will win hopefully more of is essentially just um, outplaying the opponent and not outplaying as in, you know, Geef is so good and I'm playing good and I'm playing so much better than he is and all that kind of stuff. Did you just wake up? That was frustration and desperation. What I'm gonna do is just out fundamental him. He jumps in, we're going to hit him with anti-air. I've got a very basic combo with Geef that I wanna keep using. And I wanna keep, ah, I dropped it too, that was it. Uh, and then he jumped in and gave me the round. That's fine. But we're just going to play nice and slow and pull ourselves where we need to. Right now I'm focusing on just Street Fighter fundamentals. And hopefully we can get ourselves back to where we need to be. And in the process, learn some things about Geef. Who, as I understand, is a very limited character. So he dashes in with that throw. We ain't sweating because we Geef. We wrestle bear, son. You think this hat, they just let me buy this hat? No, I, I killed him with my hands. Actually, I wrestled him down. We had a nice conversation. Uh, years and years later, after the bear died, then I used his head as this costume in order to uh, honor the bear. Should have gone in a little bit harder. I could have punished that sweep and I would have gotten, um, could have punished the sweep I would have gotten stunned and ended the round. That was a poor decision on my part. Again, focusing on fundamentals. We still won. And a lot of it was just because I was cocky. I was winning and I I don't think I had enough of a... I don't think the guy was giving me quite enough pressure to make me... Or girl. Guy or girl. To make me kind of feel like I wasn't going to win the round otherwise. So, go let him do what he's got to do. He wants to do the throw game. He probably would be doing a lot more damage. Let me do this. Akuma wants to do the throw game. We'll probably be doing a lot more damage with an infective throw game right now. But luckily, not 100% sure on the ranges, so a lot of the jump in ranges into throw, into tick throws, aren't working out the way they should. I thought he quit right there. I, I just kind of walked him down. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just walking him down. You know why? You know why? Because Santa is always watching you win. he sees you when you're sleeping he knows when you're awake that hurts my throat we're not gonna keep doing that but now we got a new character another shoto type character with sakura fun thing about sakura is she's shoto but she's very different so shoto like People don't like Shoto characters, and by Shoto I mean like your Kins, your Ryus, what they typically consider to be just palette swap characters. Um, a lot of people don't like them. People don't mind Sakura so much because she plays so much differently. Like, 
honestly, to me, she's like a Ken instead of a Ryu, in that her biggest potential are these massive combos she can pull off. Uh, so what I want to do is make sure he knows he can't just zone me all day long. I think I jumped into that. I got lucky. <laughs> but now I know he's looking for it. Looks like there's a little lag here, so, you know. That may be... That may have played a factor. Got that nice little jab as an anti-air. Notice I want to back up and give him enough space to do what I am deeming to be something stupid. <laughs> And that is to jump in unprovoked. If I can get him to jump in unprovoked um, and in range of my um, anti-air, where I can react in time, then I've got a very good position against him. So again, back up, give him that space. If he starts trying to throw fireballs from this range, that was good timing. I could jump in and punish it because I am that close. And right now, I have probably the I have the reach uh, advantage. So I can throw out a lot of normals and stuff him from trying to throw out specials, stuff him from trying to jump, that kind of thing. I want to stay in close now because I want him to be afraid that ah, I dropped it again. That I might go for a uh, throw. If I go for a command throw, I'm doing a lot of damage on him. And I want him to constantly have that in the back of his head. Um, I do like that standing fierce because you get that hit of armor. The problem with the standing fierce with the hit of armor, uh oh. Oh, we got combos. Call me Teddy. I got Gramps. Oh, you can't jump in though. Um, so I just want to make sure I have like, win. I want to watch him and I want to make him think there are openings to jump. Zangief is best played as a wall. Him and Abigail are probably the best Round characters one. to be played as a wall. Fight. Slowly move. The further back you are, is essentially the danger zone for the corner. So I want him to be in the corner. And I just want to very carefully, very slowly back him toward the corner and make him feel like the ring or the the fighting area is so much smaller than it actually is. See, now where his back is, I'm trying to act as a wall <laughs> to just make him feel like he has no room with which to operate. Make him feel real claustrophobic. And because he's uh, the rank is so low, I know I can get away with this a lot. If you watch, I'm doing a lot of jumping that I should not be doing. But in addition to that, um, I'm just kind of throwing out random stuff. There's a lot of random stuff being thrown out. Not to be mean, not to be rude, but I'm not confident that he's going to check it. So I do a lot more jumping. Um, I do a lot more punishing just raw special moves. He's not got a very good zoning game. Or not one for Geef. That was way too. That was three jumps too many right there. But I did get a chance to walk him into the corner. Pop him right back in the corner. <laughs> and again, my goal is not to like necessarily bully him. It's to make him feel like the active area he has with which he can play is so small. Like now he's kind of fought his way back to mid to mid stage. I'm just gonna take my precious little time. And walk him right back. Now we're on the other side. So he's got a full stage to work with. Unless he does that and jumps to the other side. Yeah. And he gets dunked on. Uh, shout out to Victor. I was actually talking to my friend Victor. While I was playing this match. And I told him. I was like look. I don't know what it is. I need to talk to you more often. Because I can just kind of see things a little bit better right now. I didn't actually do that correctly. But it worked. So We'll work on it. We'll try to do more. Um. If you see some things I need to work on, if you play a little geef, let me know. I'm trying to get better step by step. I'm trying to look for some better combos and that type of thing. I do want to use Cossack Muscle, though. That's that V-Trigger, too. So. Thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. Watch some more videos, man. See if you can't get to know. Thanks so much, folks. Peace out!